I don't suppose that's in the install. Command line, I think, is what we want. There we go. Uh, common element here. So we could just offer us to test scripts, directories. Okay. Include subdirectories. That's what we need. Okay, so we're going to update that in both of our scripts. So uh, our default options here, what we're going to do is just after the G exit, we're just going to put that there. And we have another file, another script for our integration tests. We may as well add that there as well. Cool. So now let's give it a go. Um, and the reason that's failing is we just want to get rid of that star. So it looks like it doesn't support globbing, but that's fine. Okay. So we ran two scripts, 11 tests, and only 10 asserts. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Because like that's got six asserts, so it feels like this maybe. Is I don't know if it's running all the tests. Testing okay. Well, I guess this is what's happening. So when you when you get a a script error, then I guess it's not going to run that test. So failed loading resource collision state. Ah, uh, that was my bad. Okay, so that should be a resu uh, collision result. Cool. Two scripts. Now we've still got another one. Test invert. Invalid set index content uh, with value of type string. Okay, so I think we need to set a getter on this. Um, let's bring the test down the bottom here. Ah, Mac OS. Why do you full screen so poorly? Uh, okay, so what's happening? Valid set index content. Okay, so what I think what I believe is happening is we need to look into a Godot getter. If I thought that would be available automatically. Um, let's have a look. So var contents is a string. I don't understand why it's not, uh, So can we just set on that instead of doing that dot set? Hmm. Tail state shouldn't be a vector to array. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. 
yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, so let's just, we probably shouldn't have written all those tests at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the ones that I think might be causing the issue. Okay. So test tail, test tail state, here we go. So interesting. I don't suppose we can just, there's no public, right? I think like we could export it. I'm not sure if that really, that's really used for that. But it kind of does uh, make sense to export it, maybe. Um, okay. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm happy to just uh, get set. No, it's going to, where, where is it going to be after the variable name? Get set uh, contents and or get contents. And Oh, the setter comes first, right? Set contents. All right. It doesn't seem to be the right syntax. Set get. Uh, okay, we'll put it over there. Still getting used to Godot. Okay, so set get. Set get. All right. What are you complaining about now? Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's easy enough to set. Right. I might actually just put the setters and getters right next to their properties. Uh, and that's easy. It's just this dot contents equals value. Okay, and then we'll just say get contents is return, and there's not going to be a value passed in, and we can delete that. Okay, what are you complaining about? Line five. Uh, oh, it's self, isn't it? Yep, okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> Sweet, and now we're just going to update our tests. So get content function is going to be equal to that, right? And then we should not have any errors. Well, we have heaps of errors. <laughs> I lied. That was way more error than I expected. I was expecting one error at most. So must use contents instead of self.contents instead of. Uh, okay. Interesting. Do I need the self in Godot? I don't think I do. I think it just, it automatically goes up a scope. Yeah, it does. Cool. All right. That still said in vehicle non existent function get content in base. Uh, get content. Oh, get contents. That's interesting that it doesn't consider those script errors as failures. I think it really should. All right, cool. So we've got no script errors. You know what we might do? Let's just check quickly uh, and say, success Hold on did that say it?
Success. Success. All right. So then what we can do, let's just see if we get a script error. Does it return a non-zero exit code? Success. Ah, uh, okay. That's something I'm going to have to make a note of. I think that's something we should uh, update in the in the gut library, right? Like if there's any sort of script error, we shouldn't return a zero, because otherwise we can't script with the with these tests. We can't rely on them. Okay, no, it's no biggie. It should be quite easy to do, I think. Okay, so gut exit. Okay, cool. Um, so without any script errors, we get the pass. Uh, so let's just uncomment this line here. And instead of set, we're going to do like a set content and pass in that string. We're going to invert it. And then we're going to, oh, there, it's supposed to be set contents and get contents. Okay, so we last time we had 11 passing asserts, so we expect to have 12 passing asserts. Success. Success. I'm I'm not seeing another passing assert. Wait, let's just assert this a second time and just see if it increments it. Success. Okay, that's really weird. Uh, we're not getting any errors there. So let's just print and say, I'm here, bro. And just. Success. Okay, it was there, bro. So I don't know how it's counting the asserts. Uh, but I mean, like, I think that that seems to be working. All right. And then finally, uh, let's just uncomment some of this stuff. And OK, so the collision result, we're going to want to provide some uh, setter for the addition value. So the addition is supposed to be a string. So we should probably type that. Oh, sorry. I think that's supposed to go there. And then what we do is we say set get and that's set addition and get addition, right? And then we define those func get addition is just return addition and func set addition is provided a value. And we can just say addition dot value is e sorry addition is equal to value right we might need to clone those things later on but let's have a look oops forgot my parentheses which I think probably in the next version of Godot like there's no reason to insist on those parentheses right they don't add anything to the syntax or to the meaning of the code, I don't think. Uh, and you know what? Let's let's go full hog and make this type safe and provide some setter getters subtraction get subtraction and func set sub traction I'd really like not to have to write these it seems a little um, archaic to have to manually write